So in this video, I want to talk about the anime known as an Arch Demon's Dilemma, How to Love Your Elf Bride. And this is honestly one of those where some people really love it and some people really hate it. And I'll get into the hate part soon. This does have a sub and a dub on Crunchyroll. It is based on a light novel. It does have 12 episodes. And of course, it came out April of 2024. Here's the thing. It is a very cute and wholesome series. It is on the tags of action fantasy romance. Definitely has a lot of romance in it. It does have some action as well, but I will say the main component is the characters that really highlights the anime itself. And I think that's the thing. Because of the type of characters as it is and how it emphasizes on the characters, it is an anime that is very hit and miss. You've got your elf bride. You've got your little lolly little dragon. You've got this big brawly knight dude at the end. And you've got the mage friend that's like an alcoholic that's just a douchebag but kind of still friends and they kind of fight but they're still friends and he it's like having a real life friend you hate each other but you love each other you love hanging out with each other but you also want to absolutely beat the crap out of each other I don't really actually have that problem in my friend but we do squabble like like a married couple sometimes and then of course you've got the female knight as well who joins them later on the thing that seems to upset people the most, and this is where a lot of the drama came from with this anime, was the bride, because of the fact that how she was purchased. I, I can't really use certain words for YouTube reasons, but let's just use the S-L-A-V-E, the S word. So that is where the main contentious issue is, where a lot of people go, oh, this is gross, it's got this in it. But... The thing is, is that this kind of stuff still happens to this day. It was a thing that happened in the medieval times. It is a... Yeah, they say it's a common trope because, yeah, it was something that happened back then. And when you're creating a medieval-style story, you're going to have all the major notes that are in a lot of these shows. And I noticed some people complain about the V-card thing when it came to the elf itself. Well, that is something that was used in that market as well. They would use it as a marketing thing going, hey, this individual has their v-card when it came to males being sold in the s market it was more about hey using them for labor how strong are they what skills do they acquire when it came to the female component it was more about the attractiveness and whether they could be used in other methods which yeah it's it's horrible but that's how that market went that's it's the sad reality of history itself on all multiple fronts it isn't exclusive to one country it was a massive issue that went around the world and that's why it was fought so heavily over to try and abolish it even though sadly it still happens to this day in many countries and even in Australia I hear stories about people going missing getting somehow kidnapped out of the country and then sold on the market it's like how how is this still a thing because governments again don't have as much power as they like to proclaim I enjoyed this anime. I think it's cute, I think it's wholesome, and I think it does achieve the overall objective of what it tries to do, because the whole S component is pretty much removed very quickly in the story. She generally sees the more charming, kind-hearted side of the male protagonist, and he's just very awkward. He's a mage, he lives in these books, he lives in the library. So he doesn't have the greatest social skills. And so by having her there, it allows him to kind of open up a lot more and build some social skills. Again, some people are going to see this as very cliche. I think it's just cute and heartwarming. And I see what the story is trying to do. It's trying to create a connection between two characters and allow them to both grow as things go on. But because of the sort of nature of the basic premise of the story, that triggers all the little kitties out there that seem to have a big problem, which might I add, fun little joke. I was reading through the Crunchyroll reviews and I was looking for all the one star downvotes. All the people that seem to complain about it have slime profile display pictures and they complain about how gross it is and cliche it is. Well, one, slime isn't gross, but it's just kind of funny. They talk about cliches in this anime while they are a fan of slime, which has a multitude of cliches in it. So little bit rich but hey i just wanted to have a fun little jab because i know that will get some slime fans riled up as a slime fan i love upsetting the slime community i like the story i like where it started i liked where it was going i like the ending component where the butler comes in i would love a season two just because i feel like season two would be so much more fun than season one because of the characters that it adds in and i think that 
was the only drawback for me at the beginning was that there wasn't many characters and as the story went on new characters got introduced and it added to this kind of family and it became more fun because of all the different interactions it wasn't just awkward MC awkward elf bride lovey dovey and that's the only thing of it later on you have the lolly dragon you have the big brawly knight you have the, the younger knight and you also have the drunken friend I, I mainly liked the lolly dragon and the big brawly knight who becomes the butler i like those two characters being added a lot more so it felt like the story became better as it got near to the end which is the sad part because once it started actually getting really more interesting then the story and so that's why i do think a season two would have been amazing but i don't really see that being the case anytime soon just because i see it as more of a source material seller with these kinds of series and it is based on a light novel i do talk about the more intricate details of the chances of a season two on my other channel not really going to do that here but i just feel like from the component of that it would be amazing to have a season two the story would probably get really good because of all the extra characters that complement each other but i do see it as a source material seller I think the story does a great job at building the romance, building the world, building the characters, but I do think it's more character driven than world building driven, which is why I think that's where some of the people get upset, because if you don't like the two characters, you're not going to like the anime. It's not like one of those where it's like, oh, you can kind of focus on other things in the anime, but that's the thing. If you're not going to like the two main characters in the story, you're not going to like the anime regardless, but this is the thing I see it with like animes like Mushoku Tensei, where people go, oh, I don't like MC. I still want to enjoy the world and everything, but I really wish they'd get rid of the MC. And it's like, dude, the whole story is about the MC. Just go watch something else at that point. So I think that kind of annoyance is something where you're just like, go watch something else. Like, it's just dumb that I have to mention it. It's like, oh, if you don't like the main characters, you're not going to like the story. It's like, yeah, nah, duh. So as the story goes on, you kind of learn a lot more about the back end stuff with the mages and the de and all the hierarchy system as he goes up in society. You learn a lot about the dragons and how people are trying to get along with the mages and the knights and stuff. There's this whole like internal dilemma and all that. And then people that do and don't like dragons and dragons working with humans and stuff. It has a lot of those kinds of mythologies that are very much ingrained in those kind of stories you could argue they're cliche but i think they're cliche for a reason because they're fundamental principles that are kind of used in a lot of medieval stories and those are kind of embedded in this but the way they go about building on it and continuing it is quite fun i do enjoy it but as i mentioned reading some of the negative reviews oh boy oh boy oh boy there are definitely some massive walls attacks when it comes to how the mc is gross and apparently one person proclaims that there's an r scene in it the r a p e thing which i never remember it ever happening yeah there's there's murder in it yeah there's some s in it but i don't remember the r thing so i feel like a lot of these reviews if you're looking online, and the reason why I bring it up is because a lot of people will come to a review like this and they'll go, oh, I want to see what other people's opinions are, and then they'll go to different websites. It seems to be a lot of websites that complain about it are just making headcanons, at least some of it in other places. All these different, like, components. It, the thing is with these kinds of shows, especially when you've got an elf that's the main romance and the bumbling kind of a quiet reclusive mage you're gonna have some of those like comedic moments because even though it has the tags action fantasy and romance there is some comedy aspects of it when it comes to things like panties and wrong place wrong time and cutesy little butt in moments where they're about to kiss but someone butts in like you can see those those comedy moments or you can see them not as comedy moments and that's what i mean it, it as all things related when there is some aspects of comedy it is subjective whether you like that or not so i'd love to ask the question off to you did you watch the anime what are your thoughts about it did you like it did you hate it again any and all thoughts are definitely welcome but hey i am you are open to criticism as i am just as open to criticism from those that do not like the series or do not like my opinions on it so again love to know your thoughts but if you like this video hit the like subscribe and i'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video